Do you find yourself in the messy middle ground between predictive and agile approaches? Are you trying to balance innovation and change with established standards and governance? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Natasha Kasimtseva and I'm your project doctor. And today we're going to explore the role of a project management office, PMO, in an agile environment. But before we start, I need you to do me a quick favor and smash that thumbs up button below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Already subscribed? Well, thank you. Let's get into it. Rapidly changing markets, disruptive technology and high uncertainty challenge us to lean into agile mindset and rethink how we structure and govern our project delivery and portfolio management. The agile approaches are based on lean thinking, focusing on value and delivering the finished products in small batches. It is all about adapting to change and delivering results while withstanding high risk and uncertainty. Flexibility, adaptability, self-governing teams, and simplicity. These are the key pillars of being agile. Now, let's look at the definition of a project management office. According to the Project Management Institute, Project Management Office, PMO, is a management structure that standardizes the project-related governance processes and facilitates the sharing of resources, methodologies, tools, and techniques. Responsibilities of the project management office can differ depending on the organization and can vary from advisory on program and portfolio management to the direct, hands-on project execution. The Project Management Institute describes four different types of project management office that vary in the control level and degree of engagement in day-to-day -day project work. Here are these four groups. The first one is supportive. Supportive project management offices have the lowest degree of control over how projects are delivered in the organization. They play a consultative role by supplying templates, recommending best practices, arranging training and collecting project data and information to create organizational project assets. The next one is controlling. Controlling project management offices are more about oversight and compliance, and they have a moderate level of control over the project management process. Compliance may involve adoption of project management framework or methodologies, use of specific templates, forms, and tools, and conformance to governance frameworks. The next one is directive. Directive project management offices have the highest degree of control over how the projects are delivered because they are the ones implementing them. Usually, the project management office will have a staff of project managers and these project managers actually implement the project portfolio. Gartner Group, a global research and advisory firm, provides a different view into project management office roles and types. They also have four. Let's take a look. The first one is Activist PMO. Activist PMO takes an activist approach, being an enabler to the business by providing project management expertise. The next one is Delivery PMO. Delivery Project Management Office takes a hands-on approach by executing on the projects. The next one is Compliance PMO. Compliance PMO focuses on governance and compliance. Centralized Project Management Office. Centralized Project Management Office drives standardization, reinforces project governance, coordinates across portfolio of projects to provide executive and enterprise-level reporting and visibility. Now when we understand the different flavors of the Project Management Office, let's evaluate how it would fit into the Agile environment. When I look at the traditional PMO definition, standardization, governance, templates, tools and techniques, I can't help but wonder if such a structure has a place in the Agile world. Being Agile means that the project team have a high level of decision-making power and self-governance, and therefore is less likely to rely on outside perspective or governance. Additionally, 
Agile requires flexibility, adaptability, fast feedback loops, and making changes quickly. And a large amount of standardization and rigor brought upon by the project management office can weigh down and potentially stifle this much needed flexibility. So, how does the project management office stay relevant in the agile environment? The answer is by delivering business value to meet customer expectations and needs. In the agile environment, the PMO exists to shepherd business value throughout the organization by becoming adaptive instead of staying directive or controlling. Tailoring project delivery and therefore project governance to fit the business needs is the key to keep PMO relevant. An agile PMO is a value-driven PMO. Any project should deliver the right value to the right customers at the right time. The project management office objective is to facilitate and enable this goal. The agile-based PMO approach is centered on customer collaboration and tailoring. It operates as if it were a consulting business adapting its efforts to meet specific needs of a given project. Instead of being directive, an agile project management office is invitation-oriented. Traditionally, it was typical for project management office to force certain solutions or approaches. However, in agile environments with self-regulating teams, it helps to generate interest and engagement first. High engagement with project management office practices makes it easier for those practices to be sticky. What do you think about the role of the project management office in an agile environment? How can a project or portfolio governance continue bringing value to ever-changing projects and business landscape? Please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being with me today. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you leave a comment right at the end letting me know your perspective. I would love to hear from you. Also, in the description box below, I will leave some links to very helpful courses you could check out to broaden your perspective on project management. Thank you very much, and I will see you in my next video.